Parade is held at the Western Development Museum. This is our 16th year and it's all about families and having a great time dressing in costume and it's absolutely fantastic. We have families that come all over and they get right into this. I don't think there's too many people that come out to our event that are not dressed in costumes, so it's absolutely fantastic. What are you all guys? We are a big family. There's the zombie, the dead bride, three guesses what she is, a uh, goth, some sort of reaper, and I'm a good witch. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> My name is Nadja and I'm a witch. <laughs> um, my name is Lacey and I'm an Egyptian goddess. My name is Darianne and I'm a vampire slayer. And I'm Chantel and I'm Jack Sparrow. And I am the interviewer. <laughs> we have a pumpkin gallery. So any child that carves a pumpkin to add it to our pumpkin um, gallery, they get $2 worth of WGM bucks. WDM bucks are used to uh, play games and they also get take home crafts. They can use those WDM bucks for concession food, they can use them for popcorn and also our prize table that you can see behind me here, that's all the prizes that kids can use their WDM bucks for. Also some of the highlights are our outdoor haunted village. Ooh, the haunted town. As you can see, it's a lot of the living dead that will be out there. We've given everyone pretty explicit instructions that this is to be the scariest night of the year. Yeah, we have an excellent um, group of volunteers out there. They each took an area and they're having fun with it. They want to scare people and scare them good. It's only for 12 and up. No children under 12 should be admitted because I don't think that they would go home tonight. <laughs> A tissue! A tissue! We all fall down! Ashes in the water, ashes in the sea, we all jump up on a one, two, three! As you enter the village, beware the goblins. They're children too, aren't they? They were once. I will be greeting our visitors as they enter the village. I will let them know that they have to be aware of everything that is there. Don't take a step off the boardwalk. You never know what might get you. I think the uniqueness comes just from actually the being in the Heritage Village at nighttime. It's a very different atmosphere than it is during the day. Each area is unique. The volunteers have done, dwelled into their minds. I don't know where they get some of these ideas. They're twisted. They're, some of them are very twisted. <laughs> <laughs> very twisted. <laughs> I think the barn is my favorite part because it is ex 
it's an extreme that we haven't really gone to before. So I think it will be, it'll be, it, there will be people coming out of there and they might have to buy some Depends before they come. <laughs> <laughs> have always liked being scared. Not everybody, but there's a whole group of people in our society that likes being scared and likes being scared in a safe way. Um, the whole event is aimed towards uh, families. The only really scary part we have is out in the village. We do have the other haunted house, the North Battle for Comprehensive Students in Action are doing the haunted house inside the museum and that's aimed at a slightly younger age group. So there's they, they have their own set everyone. of rules. Yeah, there's something to scare everyone. The little ones, I mean, not so little, but the 12-year-olds, the they won't feel deprived. Mm -hmm. If they don't get to go outside, there is another. Like, the comp does an excellent job with that, too, their comp and action group. Okay, so what's your name and what are you? Uh, Eric, and I'm from, I'm Jason. What's your favorite part of this whole event? Uh, the haunted toy, uh, toy store. What's your guys' favorite parts? The haunted toy store. Mine, too. Definitely. Same here. Same. A long, long time ago, there was once a very happy toy maker who made such beautiful and incorrect toys. Many children loved his toys and came back once a month to see his newest creations. One day, he lured a group of children just like you guys into his workshop. When they protested, he became angry and stitched their mouth shut. After realizing what he has just done, he could no longer let them return to their families. So he then stitched them all up and made them into toys of his own. Over here, we have the exact same workshop and some say those stupid enough to be lured in shall never return. If you're stupid, you're not gonna get out of here, so you must be very, very smart because I promised you that the toy maker is around here somewhere and you don't want him on your tail. A seat just opened up. Would anybody like to sit in the open seat? Nobody likes tea? Well, if not, then I'm afraid you have upset the tea party. <laughs> Other highlights we have um, are, is our family dance. It's well attended also, so um, it's just a great time through the whole night. Um, lots of stuff for families to do. And again, we strive at being a safe, family, supportive environment here at the WDM. All of our events are always community-minded. Um, that's what we do at the Western Development Museum. We're part of the community. We want to give to our community, and this is just one of the great ways we do it. How are you enjoying this? Um, to the Western Development Museum. <laughs> 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 <laughs>